one uh, as part of this video uh, we are going to continue the uh, the previous video which uh, we have discussed about the, the how the predicate is working against the um, a list and uh, how we are going to find out uh, whether the match is for example if I have a list if I have I want a specific condition check whether my student name is like this and my student mark is greater than those kind of check we have checked but that will only return true or false but I need to have a, another different kind of scenario I have a map okay which has the student name as an input and the student as my value so I want to filter some specific value but the condition it will be passed as a runtime okay so how we are going to do that okay so let's give it a try now okay I'm going to create create the list of student first list of students and student list equal to null let me import it okay so I'm going to use students student student dot get well I'm going to use the same uh, method which we written already so I'm going to convert this as a map for now so my map is string and student so I'm going to use okay so we are going to convert the list as a, um, a map now okay you know that how to do that student list dot stream I'm not going to put any filter I'm going to convert everything as a map so I'm going to just collect here collectors dot to map okay so let's store the data in p p dot name and my value would be the same okay that's done okay let's see how we are going to write a method to predicate something from the map okay so here I'm not going to uh, define anything here I'm going to write a new method to predict something okay so I'm going to have a map I'm going to return as a map only okay so let me write a method here public static and so what I'm gonna I'm going to use a map now okay so map key and value so I'm going to use map and key value here okay get predicate data okay so my input is going to be map of key value map and predicate my prediction the prediction which I'm going to pass as a runtime Okay, so what is wrong here? Map k comma v. Okay, what is happening here? Let me see. Okay, then uh, for now I'm going to turn null. Okay, so what is wrong here? Key comma v map and my key and value my filter data map key okay looks good what is wrong here predict v predicate okay so come on okay okay so I'm going to import the predict as well okay so the prediction which we can pass it as a runtime parameter okay uh, let me return okay so what I'm gonna do map dot I'm going to use entry sets since it's a map and set dot stream and I'm going to filter the data based on some condition the condition which I'm going to pass from my runtime okay so what I'm going to put it here okay so let's take okay so what I'm gonna do is here okay filter x lambda function and x dot no 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 ok 
okay what i'm going to do the, the data and the predicate or test okay and the data. okay so it's not like that so the value x holds the data so i'm going to predicate i'm going to use a predicate here predicate at unit is at test method and the value should be passed from the runtime this particular value passed as part of runtime and this is a method which you need to validate the the condition okay so that is done so then what i'm going to do as a map so i'm going to use the collector to return the data as a map collectors and dot to map okay i'm going to use the um, okay let's try map dot entry get key okay and the value is going to be get value and get value okay now looks good so so just take a look at this method this method takes the input as a map and the predication predication is nothing but the predication which you are sending as part of the runtime okay so I have a map so I'm extracting the map to using the entry set and I'm using the stream to filter the data and this is my predicate condition what is the condition which I have to apply and I'm returning as a map here okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to create a filter map here filter map and I'm going to call the method so I'm going to call the get value get predicate data map okay so and what is the prediction the prediction here I'm going to send the condition now what condition it needs to be checked inside the prediction okay so what you can simply say is okay I'm going to check x lambda function and if mark is greater than 95 so it will fetch the students who has the mark greater than or greater than or equal to 95 okay so let's print the data here okay let's clear the console let me run it again see randy student mark and Dennis 95 that's it okay let's go and see the get student list method see only two students are above 95 okay so Dennis and Nandi those information has been printed here okay this is the other way to use the uh, predicate okay and this is more useful when you're working with the big projects okay just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any clarification and uh, please do subscribe my channel thank you